I did not really want to rush to do another Windows 10 video, but I need to get rid of that virtual machine there, so this seems as good a time as any. So what I'm trying to do is a comparison between NoTrack and SpyBot anti-beacon for the effectiveness of preventing Windows spyware. So I'm using Wireshark at the moment, and if you don't know what Wireshark is, it records the network activity going in and out of your computer. So one line is one packet. Now at the moment I'm focusing on DNS, which is purely the lookups that your, that your computer would do when it wants to request a website or connection to another server. Now for comparison, the host operating system is doing a minimal activity. It's currently 1602. The last DNS request was at 1559 for the whoopsie daisy crash protection program. So the crash protection seems to be fairly common and at 15, 1558 I opened and closed the browser briefly. So pretty minimal. Gives you a bit of a baseline to go with. Now if I focus on the Windows 10 system which will be the IP of 192.168.62.152 and just look at the DNS lookups. Well now let's fire up the machine and we'll see what happens. So immediately the first connection to MSF tncsi.com is to determine whether the computer has a network connection. The method that Wireshark uses to record the DNS packets is the first one. You've got a standard query is the host computer and then standard query response is the remote server and you can confirm that by looking at the source and destination IP addresses. In this instance my DNS server is 192.168.62.2 Now that happens to be the NoTrack device. So NoTrack is the DNS server. I'm just going to leave this sat there doing nothing. I'm not going to interface with it. As far as the programs that are on the system, we've got Skype and I've got some Logitech application just for doing the webcam. So let's have a look what's happening. So second look up, go.microsoft.com. We have a response there, so answer is 192.168.62.2, so that is something that NoTrack has sync hold or blocked. An answer of something else, in that case 131107 is the actual server, an actual Microsoft server. Vortex win data microsoft.com sync hold. IPv6.microsoft.com, yeah that's allowed. Config.skype.com, that's blocked. That's not actually Skype. Microsoft play really dirty and use some of their other services to actually be the spying domains. This is something I've learned as I've use the system and been blocking things. You can actually block a lot of sites and it has no visible impact to the computer. Look, Bing, MSN, I didn't request any of those. IPv4.arpa, that's not really an actual lookup. Bing, live.com, that's blocked. Clientlogin.skype, no it isn't. Telemetry.microsoft.com, yeah, that's definitely a spying domain. That's, that's two minutes of network activity. I'm going to leave this for a moment and we'll come back to it after it's sat there and done nothing for a bit longer. The operating system has now been on for about 15 minutes, so let's continue to look through what it's done. So I've got connections to Windows Update, yep, reasonable enough, that's forced on you. More spying, possibly more spying here, I'm probably going to look at blocking this one now. I've looked at what it's doing and it's happening while I'm supposedly doing nothing on the machine. I've got this one with a bit of a suspicious looking address on there. Could be something tracking in that. Tying down to the individual machine? Maybe not. Don't know. What I will say is now that I've got rid of all the tiles, Twitter and Windows Weather are no longer appearing. So there's actually quite a few things have disappeared with that. So telemetry, answer of no track. Very signs a legitimate domain, that's a, to do with SSL certificates. Here's a bit of an evil look up. So if you look at this, 1617.36.92, spynet.2.microsoft.com. Then immediately at 16.17.37.04, so well, just over 0.10 of a second, it goes to an alternate website, spynetalt.microsoft.com. Hmm. Quantity of traffic is significantly lower with the tiles missing. Now I've turned all privacy settings off as much as I can, 
But to be honest, there are only two settings of on and on. SimCB is semantic. Why was that request made? I have no semantic software on any of my computers. Very strange. Anyway, get me to Google. Get me to a proper search engine. Spybot anti-beacon. Oh, okay. Is that it? Immunize. All blocked. So, let's pause no track and I want to see what happens now. In fact, I want to restart Windows. Just really see what it catches straight from the beginning. Okay, well I've left this going for quite a while now. It's uh, actually been nearly 50 minutes, so from 16.32 to 17.23. The volume of traffic is somewhat different now than when I was just running with no track. There are quite a few domains that are disappeared from the list, particularly the Spynet Alt and Spynet 2 domains. I can't see any of the telemetry domains, but I've noticed that there are still quite a few that have got through, particularly with the sedexis.net answers. So delivery.mp.microsoft.com is more tracking, although not necessarily Microsoft themselves because Sedexis is a different company. One of the popular domains, if you ever look for Sedexis Radar. Semantic, still getting through. So all in all, it is an improvement. Somewhat simpler to set up than NoTrack, I do appreciate that. Although I'm only looking at one specific part, NoTrack does cover wider internet usage. So it's getting a bit slow because I've been running it for some time now. I've got masses of Windows updates come down the packet. This is probably at the point now I should be splitting the packet up, but never mind. 23437527, connection 23437527, that's that one. So right click, follow, follow TCP stream. We can see a connection has taken place. What exactly has gone on there, I don't know, but that is uh, rather a short communication there. End of capture exceeded. Okay. Oh, thanks. You could have just kept that going, but there we go. There. So that's a rather odd URL to get. Almost looks like it's uh, targeted at a specific machine. So it'll be get s2.simcb.com forward slash that. So it's very signs that's SSL, so we won't know exactly what is in the communication. So that was a look at the differences in the network traffic on Windows 10 between SpyBot, AntiBeacon, and NoTrack. Interesting the comparison there. I was kind of expecting SpyBot to hardly do anything, given that what I have researched so far on anti-tracking and telemetry methods that I've seen on Windows 10, most of them are completely ineffective. Very few actual research like that has been done, which is really surprising because it is quite easy to do. There you go. Interesting difference. I'm going to get rid of Windows 10 now, and hopefully there won't be another Windows 10 video for a little while. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.